Hi church, I'm excited to announce to you that this week we are meeting in the building. We're going to be having two services in the building so that we can accommodate everybody that wants to come. The two services are going to be 10 o'clock and 11.30 on Sunday morning. And so we'd love to see you come. We want to see you. We, we want you to be here. We want you to be here. And so we are excited to be present under one roof, worshiping God under one roof. Uh, we're going to have some modifications with uh, how we're meeting together. And so I'm going to go through some of those modifications now. Uh, number one, Hope City Kids and Baby Boulevard is still going to be non-operational. So if you bring your children with you, they're going to be with you during the service as well. We're going to have slightly shorter services like we did at the drive-in services, which were awesome by the way. I had so much fun at those. And uh, also Janine will be still providing some activity bags for your kids to, to be somewhat occupied during the service as well. Secondly, our seating is going to be a little bit different. And so you can see behind me, we have some chairs set up and we, there's some spacing in between. And then there's a really big aisle here. And uh, it's, that's because we need to have two meters in between families for seating. And then we also need five meters in between groups of 30 people. And so we have three different sections hoping to, uh, if we totally maximize the auditorium, we'll have 90 people in there in here uh, but uh, I'm guessing we will we'll get less than that in here and so one of the reasons that we have opened up the Hope City Center and the youth room to to allow for a, a larger number of people to attend each service so the Hope City Center is also open for 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 people to watch a, a, a streamed version of the service there and uh, same thing for up in the youth room um, so once those three rooms are full, I'm sorry, but we can't fit any more in the building. You'll have to come back for the next service. So one-way traffic will be in place. In the building, the main doors, and then exit through the emergency exits. That's one of the government requirements for us to be able to meet together. And so in the main, out the emergency exits. Um, so in order to not congregate at the exits, Direction will be given from the platform on which group goes first. We don't want people bumping into each other and mass confusion as we're trying to leave. And so just listen for direction at the service from the platform about which group is going first. Uh, number four, all congregants that plan to sing need to wear a mask. Okay, that's one of the requirements that the government has put upon us. Now initially the government was saying no singing no singing at all it's not necessary and there were a bunch of pastors that really advocated saying singing is necessary we have to be able to sing you have to let us sing and so the government said okay well if you're gonna sing then you absolutely need to wear masks so all congregants need to wear a mask if they're going to sing so if you have a mask bring your own mask if you don't have a mask we are gonna have some here for you to for you to use and you only have to wear it while you're singing so if you're once that we're done praise and worship you can take it off but uh but we do we do need to wear masks when singing no problem uh, so fifthly the offering box is going to be at the connection center for the first 15 minutes of each service and so we can't pass around and collect an offering like we normally do but we are going to have the offering box like we did at the drive-in service. We're going to have it at the Connection Center and we're going to uh, have it available for you to put your offering in there. And so that's going to be open for the first 15 minutes of each service. It just needs to be manned and so we don't want to have someone stuck there the whole service and so that's why we're only having it for the first 15 minutes of each service. Uh, so that will be there for you. Prayer ministry after the sermon is going to be in the prayer room. Funny that, eh? So we're gonna have it available, have prayer ministry still available in the prayer room for anything that you need. Anything you need prayer for, we love to pray with you. We wanna see God move in your life. We wanna see God bring the miraculous in your life. Uh, seventh is that uh, all volunteers that are scheduled for that Sunday service, um, service or services, 
Uh, we just ask you to stick around in between the services and help us clean up, help us wipe down, help us get ready for the next service so that we can have a, a good sanitized room, good sanitized space for the next people that are going to be coming. And finally, we're still not allowed to do any food or beverages at this time. And so you want a coffee, you're going to have to bring a coffee. You want a snack, you're going to have to bring a snack. Um, if you bring a full course meal, I'll be um, probably nibbling off some. No, I won't. But uh, I, I, we, yeah, we can't, we can't do Timbits and coffee after the service like we normally love to do. But, uh, but you can grab your own. You can grab your own on the way here and, uh, and enjoy during the service. It's fine. That's fine. So bring your own. So even though this will be a little bit uncomfortable, it'll be a little bit unusual, it'll be a little bit beyond what we want to do, that's okay because we get to get together. We get to worship under one roof again. We get to sing together again. That's okay. We can wear a mask. That's not a big deal. I am just excited that we get to get together again and worship under the same roof again and to utilize this wonderful building that God has provided us. And so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you this Sunday. I'm looking forward to worshiping together, whether you're at the 10 o'clock or the 1130 service. I look forward to seeing you there.